Hello everyone, welcome to Mithya Cloud Tech. This is the part three of PySpark tutorial. In this video, we are going to discuss about how we can read CSV file in Databricks using PySpark. So let's start. So let me show you file first, which I'm going to use here. Yeah, so I'm going to use these files, explore which has around 29 reports and then this is store one which have around five reports okay so i've already imported this these files on databricks so if you see this is the location store and store one okay so now let's start how we can load the data in Databricks. So we will type spark.read.csv. So this is the syntax basically. In this, we will pass the different parameters. If you want to see what all parameters we can pass, so you can simply use help button and see first. And as per the requirement, you can pass. So see, you can pass parts, you can pass schema, separator. So there are different options. As for the business requirement, you can uh, go through this using this help function and then pass accordingly. Okay. And we are going to pass some common uh, parameters. Okay. So let me remove this. Now it's path dot read dot csv. Now I need to pass the path. So I have this path. So what I can do instead of passing directly here, I can take one variable, let's say path and part this and pass this path. Okay. So this is my path. And now I can simply pass this path here. Okay, now I have two options. I can click dot show here and show the file. See, and another one is I can take this into one variable. Let's say df equals to, and let me remove show from here, and I can type df dot show. Okay, so you can see the similar uh, with with H five reports and this one is category product name sales. This one is header. I will uh, tell you later on how we can use header. Okay, so this is the first way of reading the CSV file. Now let me tell you the another uh, way which would be more clear. So in that, basically, we first define the different uh, parameter value in variable. Okay, so let me create. So let's say I'm typing file type, file location, and type. Okay, so in that case, in this case, my file location is the this one, so I can pa simply pass this. Okay, and then file type. My file type is CSV, so I can simply pass CSV here. So you have, if you have XLS, pass it, JSON, so you can pass like this, okay? Now, uh, there are some basic options like this basic format options. So I'm going to use that. I'm commenting here format options. And uh, I made a comment here. Now, I'm going to take two, three parameters basic. So first one is header. So header meaning uh, if I need to set header, if I have a file, if you see here, I have a file that I can see on my first row, there is a header. So for that, 
I can simply write header equal to two. Second is info schema. So I'm taking this to one variable again. So info schema means, let's say if you have different columns, let's say category product sales. So by default, if I don't use the value of info schema is two, by default, it will take string data type of all these. Let me show you in the above uh, one. I haven't, uh, you know, defined. So if I type df dot print and schema, and if I run this, so you will be able to see, see string, string, string. So all of the types are showing string. And if I set the value of true for this, then it will show the, it will, what exactly it will do? It will basically uh, take some sample reports and it try to find if it is a name, then it provide a string. And if it is a numeric, numeric number, then it provide integer or double accordingly and similarly for date. Okay, I will show you. And uh, now let's say delimiter. So delimiter is since it is a CSV, so it is comma separated. So if you see, I have used these two parameters to find out the location and type. And after that, I have used this common parameter for the formatting options. Now let me tell you how we can make use of these parameters. So I'm taking one variable and uh, spark dot read dot format so in the above program we have used csv to read the file now there is another way using this spark dot read dot format so we can uh, use this as well and now first i need to provide my file type okay after file type i can provide this format class and then dot option so in the option like i will provide one by one these format options so first one is let's say header so header i am passing this value Okay, and then similarly, I will use one more time. So I need to again use this less, and after that, now this time I can pass in for schema. And now I can pass the value. So I am passing through here. Okay, and then I have another property that that is separator. I can copy this. I will change the value. So this is separator. So SPP basically, and then I am passing this delimiter, which is commas DSP. Okay. And at the end, I'm done with all these parameters which I have uh, declared. Now I can load my file. So for that, I can simply write dot load. Okay. And after this, I can pass my file location. So file location, you can see I'm passing on this on this variable. Okay. Now, what I can do? I can do df dot show. Now let me run this. So if you closely see what we did, file look we have provided file location and file type. So file location we have provided the path, and in the type I have provided CSV. So depending on the type, you can provide the different option as well. And after that, I uh, take a few format options like header, info schema, and delimiter. And uh, and after that, 
I have used this port spark.read.format. I have uh, provided, I have passed this file type value and then run my one this format option value. And at the end, I have provided the file location. And now let me run this. Showing this error on lining. So let me check. I think this is the keyboard. So instead of Dell, I can pass Dell. And then let's see how it works. Yeah, so it's working now. Okay. So if you see closely, now you guys can see this header category product name sales. Why? Because we have put header equals to true. But if you see in the above program, we, we are able to see, you know, C0, C1, C2 because we haven't passed here. And if I pass here, false then will not show let me run this see it is showing c0 c1 c2 okay so let me pass this through and for infer schema i can pass df dot parent schema to show you okay so i'm passing True now, so let's see what it provides after passing true. See, it provided a string, a string, and double. So this is the string, this is the string, and since this is the you know numeric value, so that's the that's why it has provided double. And if I pass false, it will provide all the value. All it will provide all the data type of a string value. Let me run this. Okay. String, string, string. okay. So I hope this is clear to all of you. Okay, guys. Now similarly, we can pass value here as well. Like this is my path, and if I want to pass the header so i can simply write header equals to true okay now let me run this see now we have it and similarly i can put another comma and pass in for schema equals to true so if you see now it has a string 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 but if i make value two then it will provide String, string and double so see okay and similarly i can pass another one here if you see below like we have passed header in the schema and delimiter for delimiter i can use separator which is the keyword and then in separator i can pass comma since it is comma separated file so see so like this you can put comma and pass what, up, what all parameters you want. And if you want to do in this way, you can uh, define the different parameters and then using dot option, you can pass here. Okay, so I hope this is clear to all of you. Okay. Okay, so now I want to show you two more, you know, uh, display function. Uh, let me show you. So this is the df.show print schema if you want to uh, show the data you can also type df dot display so see it has given the output and uh, i have few more let's say if you want to see the first row only so you can simply type df dot first So see, you are seeing first row only. Okay. And uh, if you want to see, let's say top three or top two, top five, whatever. So you can use this function df dot take and you can type value here. Let's say I have put two, so it will provide the two value. Top two value basically. So see, one and two. And if you want to see bottom two value, so instead of take, you can use tail. 
and then you can you let us see so it will provide the bottom three values see one two and three and uh, there's uh, one more function called limit if you want to you know uh, see some value you can use limit as well like take you can use let's say four and then after that you can put show okay so you can use this as well okay and if you want to convert this value you can do in pandas so what you can do you can simply write to pandas here So see, you can see the value in the pandas data frame. Okay, so there are different options as per the requirement you can use. Okay, and if you see, I have two files here, so I may have multiple files as well. If you want to read all the files, so what you can do? You can simply use location till this then it will fetch all the files now let me run this that is done so see you have all the reports now of for both of the files okay so you may have multiple files as well so like you can provide the folder location if you want to you know load all the files so I hope guys this video is helpful. Thank you everyone.